sort of training session of day. So if you can find a place when you where you can uh, see the board, that will be good. Sorry, did you have a question? Okay. You're all right. Okay. Right. Um, we're going to have a look at something to do with the very final part of the game, which is called an ending. Yeah, question? No, I know how to do it. You know how to do it? Oh, well, you don't know. need to stay here. <laughs> right. <laughs> but you can watch if you like. Now, um, sometimes in a game, you might win very quickly and it'll be all over and it'll be checkmate and you'll never get to the right the end of the game. The end, an end game is when there's very few pieces, possibly even very few pawns on the board. But you will each, or you and your opponent will always have a king. Okay? So you're going to have at least a king and you're going to have some other pieces, often not many of them. You might not even have a queen. You might not even have any rooks. You might not even have any knights, bishops, rooks or queens. There might be just kings and pawns. Now, this gives you a problem, because the whole idea of a game of checkmate is to actually kill the king, take your opponent's king. That's the whole idea. It's not to see how many moves you can make as quickly as possible. Yeah? It's, not to, it's not really to go around taking all their pieces, but that does help, because then they haven't got many pieces left to fight you back with. But the idea is to get checkmate. Now, one problem is okay, that if you don't have any pieces, particularly if you haven't got a queen, getting a checkmate is actually quite hard. So one way, one plan you can have, one plan is to not play for checkmate, but play to see if you can get a pawn to the end. Because if you can get a pawn to the end, you can get which piece? A queen over a, over a bishop or... Knight. And out of those, which is the best fighting piece? Queen. Queen. So probably it's a good idea to get the que a queen. Then when you've got a queen, and of course a king, you can get a checkmate. Right? So it's a two-step process. If you haven't got a queen on the board or rooks or any of the good pieces, try and get a pawn to the end and get your queen back, okay? Now that might sound easier than it is to do, and we're gonna have a look at some of these of getting a pawn to the end, right? So, sometimes it's really, really easy. If black has moved their queen all the way over here, and this pawn is all the way over here, it's very easy to run the pawn through to the end. Okay, quite easy. And then with a king and a queen, I'm hoping you know how to get a checkmate. I think most people do. If you, if you don't, see me later. Okay, I'll show you. So the best place, okay, to put this king to be as awkward as you can is somewhere in front of the pawn. Now, can I just say, if you've got a pawn on the edge like this, are, are where the rooks start off, okay? And they can get the king somewhere around here. No matter how hard you try, you can't get this, you can't force the pawn through. Unless they are a bit silly and they move the king all the way over here to let you run the pawn through. They're not going to do that. So if you, can, if you end up in a position where you're black, and they've got a rook's pawn, you get the king somewhere in front, yes, you're gonna get a draw, okay? But you need to be careful how you do it. Let's see how it might go. King here, king here, king here. I'm doing quite well with the pawn, don't you? Get me up the board. It's all right, isn't it? Here, oh, I might have to go back. Okay, because I can't come here because of this pawn. And I'll move this up, yeah? Should we try again, moving it up? No. We'll try. Check. I'm going to move in front. Oh. And now comes a little bit of a problem. Shall I go here? No, no. stay away. Yeah, it's stay away. You see, one of the rules is you can't pass in chess. You always must make a move. So the white player makes a move, the black one. 
the white one, the black one. You must move. The rules say that. But the rules also say you can't move into check. So here, you can't move a king next to a king, for example. You can't move it here, and you can't move it here because the pawn will take you. So there's a problem here. The rules say you must move, but you can't move. But you must move, but you can't move. Okay? And if you've got if one player has no legal moves, they must move, but they can't, yeah, then that's a stalemate. Okay? Stalemate is only a draw. Mate meaning it means the end of the game. Checkmate means you've won it. Stalemate mean, means you know it's just a dead game. Incidentally, have you ever wondered about the word checkmate? It's a funny word, isn't it? Anyone like to say me, tell me what language it comes from? Chess language. No, it's not Latin. Any more guesses? <coughs> Go on. Chess language. Um, Go on. I can't remember now. <laughs> okay, what one do you think? Russian. Russian, it's not Russian. Persian. Yes. It's actually Old Persian. Because chess came from, they're not entirely sure, they had similar, <coughs> sort of, I'm going to say games, but what they used the chess for was teaching generals and people in battle how to set their army out. And you know, if you were like six, seven thousand years BC and we were in a battle, I'd have bring, brought all my little models of chariots and horsemen and infantry and people with slings to lob rocks at people. I say, right, we're going to start with the infantry in the middle, put half our cavalry on that side, and, have to, and to explain how we were going to have the battle, yeah? We found a nice bit of bit of sand and we lay it all out and look at and, and they're going to lay out like this and I want the arm at these to go up the side. So it started off as a, a as a way of describing how the battle was going to play and it turned into a sort of game uh, in China or India. Now as you know round about from about 1200 AD the Chinese, the Marco Polo and the people we and they found China, the Silk Road and everything, and a lot of information, a lot of products, spices, silks, traveled on the Silk Road, which went from China, right the way through <coughs> Afghanistan, Persia, to, up to, into Turkey, that. And um, also traveled was bas basically chess, yeah? And when it got to Persia, the end of the game was called King's dead, and I'll teach you some old Persian. This, uh, the, uh, the king of Persia is called a Shah, and Mat means dead. So Shah Mat means became checkmate. And they taught it, taught it to the, um, the people in Turkey, Ottoman Empire, and then they brought it to uh, Europe. Now why on earth we didn't call it your king's dead, I don't know, it would have been a lot easier but we adopted Charmat, or which became Checkmate, and that's where it comes from. And Stalemate is just, it's, it's a dead game, yeah? It's still a mat, it's still dead, but it's a, a stalemate. So you're right, this is a dead game, and that's a draw, okay? I have to say, if you go back before about 1400, that was actually a win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, you know, you, you, you've lost your king, tough. And I think it was probably about the 1500s where, you know, it was only the nobility really that played chess, yeah? And I think a lot of the kings, particularly in Europe, didn't want to encourage people to think about killing kings, or queens for that matter, yeah? So we don't actually go taking the kings anymore. <coughs> now frankly, I think it'd be damn sight easier if you just, I'll take your king, gone. But killing the king was not really encouraged by the kings, unsurprisingly. So what they did, they stopped one move before, yeah? So as soon as you go here, check, yeah? This is checkmate as we know. Because next go, it's going to be taken, right? I think we should kill the kings still, but uh, <laughs> perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm out of sync with the. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it's a lot easier to t to teach you take the king and you. Whoa, whoa, that's it. So, so getting back to our little pawns, yeah. If if do not give up, yeah. If you if you're only a pawn down, you got a rook's pawn, dead easy. 
if you in a if the night spawn is somewhere towards the middle, again, don't give up. Okay, whatever you do, because you can still get a draw here. It's still possible to get a draw. Okay, the pawn is going to come down. I can't stop it. But wait, but getting it to the very end, I can. So I'm going to um, I'm going to come here if I'm black. Now. You might say, well, why didn't you go this side? Yeah? Well, one of the... Oh, go on. Opposition. Oh, my gosh. He knows a big word. What was that again? Opposition. The opposition. It's a good idea to move opposite the king because every king... A king can't move next to a king. Agree? Yeah? It's like he has a force field around him like this because the other king can't move in there. So you can use that force field to push the other one out of the way. Well here, if you go to this side, whoa, I can go this sort of way now. And now my pawn can run forward a bit further. I'm gonna make it as hard for white as possible, so I'm going the opposite, because you can't go there, you can't go there, you can't go there. So, let's see if we can move the pawn down. Well, we can. Check. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be as, as, as annoying as I can. I'm going to go here and block you. And I think there's only one square you can go without to save the pawn, isn't it? Is that the only one? Yeah. I think it's the only one. Because I don't want to lose the pawn. Okay? So, now we're in this position. This is where you know as black. What you need to do is play a nice waiting move. Okay? Just go straight back and wait and see. Will he go this side or will he come this side? Okay? Well, whichever side he goes to, you move. Where's my opposition man? Is he running? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just go opposite him. Stops him going there and there. The only thing he can move forward is the pawn. Oh. Well, White might be happy here because, you know, we're slowly getting this pawn down the board, aren't we? So only got another two to go. Let's see if it's possible. Check. Well, I'm going to go in front, and I guess he's going to go here. We've seen this before, haven't we? It was all moved back one. Yeah? So we're now one further up the board. Looks like White's making good progress. So he is. So where are we going to go? Should we just go? Straight back. We'll straight back. Wait and watch. Will he go this side? Or will he go this side? Well, it doesn't. Whichever side white goes to, I'm going to move the same. Can't move forward. Should I move the pawn? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Check. Oh, no. Shall I move out no. off to a city square? No, of course I'm not. I'm going to go here. Now what should we do as white? Well, I can't move the pawn. I can move the king. What, what do you think? Where shall I move it to? Give me a letter and a number. Yeah, well, if I move here or here or here or here or here, they'll just take it. King against the king, draw, okay? And if I move here, where do you think black might go? Nowhere. Nowhere. Do you know, that is a really good thing, okay? I, I would like you to play a little game when you're playing chess. I found it a really useful game. And the game goes, can I guess my opponent's next move? Okay? I don't make a move unless I made a guess. Yeah? Of what it now sometimes I guess right and sometimes I guess wrong. Okay? But if one of the people on one of the top boards had simply played that game, he and asked himself, I wonder if I can guess where my opponent will move next. The answer would have been, he hasn't got any moves, it's stalemate. But he didn't, he quickly moved, and it was a stalemate, and it was only a draw, and he was, oh my gosh, he was, I think he was a queen up or something. He thought it was too easy, he rushed it, lost. So here, okay, let's see if it's set a stalemate, can I take the pawn? No, no can I be king against it? No, no, no because of the pawn, no because of the, so I've got, I've got, it's still my, uh, it's just still my, I managed it. So do not give up in this position. In this position, if you're, sorry? I wish instead of chickly, it would have been chocolate mint. 
Well, we can play that game when it's Easter. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, in this position, it's really, really important that you go straight back and see which side you go. Do you know why? Let me show you. If you don't get the right move here as black, eh, eh, you're going to lose. Watch. Watch this. If you go here, you'd say, well, what's the difference? Big, big difference. Because now white will move opposite you. Okay? And I'll go here. And now I'll go here and say, move. It's your move. Yeah? They'll have to go here. And now I can go here. And guess what? The little pawn is going to run to the end. So in this position, it was absolutely critical where black went. If you're black, you can't go there, you can't go there, you can't go there, there, or there. That one will lose. That one will draw. That one will lose. Talk about balanced on the edge of a knife. Yeah? One bad move here, you lose. Play the right move, you'll get your draw. You see how close it is? Very, it's quite close. You know, when you start off, you've got loads of chess pieces, haven't you? you only got two kings and a pawn. It's still complicated. Yeah? Still incredibly complicated. So here, I hope you'll remember, if you're trying to draw, go straight back, and whichever side they go, go there. You could agree a draw, because you know it's a draw, but do you know what I do? I wait and see. If you know if the European needs to go to draw it, they can draw it. Nothing you can do about it if they play perfectly. But I'd be waiting to see. You never know. You could try. Uh, I'll try here. See where they go. They should come back to this square. But say they go. Oh no! I'll go over here. Oops. Oops. Who, who said oops? oops. Yeah. And now you can go here. <coughs> yeah. Right? Um. Now they can go here. And guess what? Knowledge. I've got through. So be be super careful. You know, this is not an easy draw. In fact, this is what we call the, an important position, a critical position. Amusingly, if it's white to move, that's really bad because he'll have to go stalemate or lose the pawn. If it's black to move, unfortunately he's got to go here and white wins. So, neither wants to move. White could say, oh, it's all right, you have the move. And Black goes, oh, no, it's quite all right, now you move. No, it comes, neither wants to move. That's the problem, okay? So whoever it is to move, it's really bad for them, okay? So it's a bit amusing, isn't it? Sometimes in the opening, when somebody says, oh, go on, have another move, you say, all right, thanks. Can I have another one? Can I have another one? But at the end, sometimes it's, you actually don't want to move. It's a, a very annoying game. So that's that. Now, so saying that, the, 